So a lot of you are going to be confused with uh, the math problem that we're going to be solving in this particular video, not because it is difficult, but really because you forgot a lot of your basic math skills. And of course, that can happen with time. But uh, let's see how well you remember basic mathematics and feel free to use a calculator to help you solve this problem. But let me go ahead and read it to you. It is the following. 7 tenths is what percent of 31 hundredths? Now this isn't going to be difficult, but we're going to have to start from the beginning. Now what is the beginning in terms of this question? Well, first of all, we have to understand the question. I always like to use the rule of three. Anytime you have a question, read it at least three times before you start doing anything. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to uh, determine the percent. Okay, What is the percent? of what? Well, if we're trying to find a percent of something, we're going to uh, try to find a percent of two different values, right? So one value is uh, 7 tenths and the other value is 31 hundredths. Now, uh, the way these numbers, these values are written out can be confusing, okay? Especially if you don't remember place value. So let's go ahead and review place value real quick. And place value is basically how we uh, write or kind of speak out a decimal value. Okay, so here is, uh, well, actually, let me give you a little pop quiz here. How can I describe this number? Okay, so just say that number out loud. Now, most of you are going to say maybe like, oh, that's 0.2. Now, if you said 0.2, uh, that's excellent. Matter of fact, I'll give you credit for it. But let's uh, suppose I said you cannot use the word point. Okay, don't use the word point. How else can we say this value? Okay, now this is where we're going to have to use place value. Okay, so uh, this number, okay, 0.2 is what we would call two tenths. Okay, this is the fraction two tenths. Now it's uh, two tenths is because two right here, this decimal is in the tenths place. Okay, and again, we have to remember our place value. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another example uh, so this becomes easier. All right, so we have the decimal here, 0.23, but let's use place value to write this out. Now, of course, we can write this out you know, uh, using words, right? Uh, two uh, tenths, right? And so this is all you know, basic kind of practice exercises that you would do uh, in basic mathematics. But here, 0.23, how can we uh, state this value using place value? Well, right here, okay, uh, this first digit to the right of the decimal place is the tenths um, spot. This next digit is the hundredth spot. So anytime you have a decimal, we have to go to its most far right digit uh, to determine the correct place value. So it's not the tenths, okay, it's the hundredths. So we can write this uh, particular decimal as 23 hundredths, 23 over 100. Now, if you doubt me, just get your calculator and take 23 divided by 100 and you'll see it turns out to be this decimal right here. All right, so hopefully you kind of understand what's going on here. Let's go ahead and do this last little example, 0.234. So if this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, what do you think this is gonna be? If he said the uh, thousandths as place, you are an expert already in place value, so we can express this particular decimal not as 0.234, which of course it is, but 234 thousandths. Okay, so 234 over 1,000. All right, so that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to be able to understand place value and interpret uh, uh, these words here, okay, 7 tenths as either a decimal or a fraction. So let's go and do that right now. Okay, so here's our question. 7 tenths is what percent of 31 hundredths? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at each of these values and just use our new um, kind of uh, knowledge of place value. And of course, it's not new for most of us. Uh, most of us remember this, of course, uh, unless, you, of course, you're learning it for the first time. All right, so 7 tenths. 7 tenths is what? Well, we're going to write 0.7, right? Because that's 7 tenths. This is in this uh, tenth spot. But 7 tenths, okay, you can also think of as the um, fraction 7 over 10. Now, both are correct. If you take 7 over 10 and take, well, take 7 divided by 10, you'll get the decimal 0.7. Okay, but yeah, I think uh, this, you know, uh, problem is structured in such a way where I can use it as a teachable moment to review place value. Because we could just simply kind of create fractions here, 7 tenths, 
31 hundredths, but I think the real value here is to make the connection between place value and fractions and whatnot, because again, most of us uh, kind of forgot how to deal with place value. No big deal. Hopefully this is all coming back to you. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this other value that we have, 31 hundredths. Now, of course, we can write that as 0.31. This is the 10 spot. This is the 100 spot. So 31 over 100. So now we have to make a determination here. We have to go back to our problem and uh, we're going to have to put in some actual numeric values. So we can choose to work with uh, fractions or we can choose to work with decimals now because we are going to be using our calculators and you don't have to use your calculator, but yeah, you know, you should use it. It's just going to make our life a lot easier. I'm going to choose to uh, work with decimals. Okay, so we're going to rewrite the problem this way. 0.7 or 7 tenths, right? So I could say this here, 0.7 or 7 tenths is what percent of 0.31 or 31 hundredths. Okay, so right now at this point, what we have is a lovely percent problem. And uh, we went from uh, reviewing place value, decimals, fractions, how to express uh, you know different values uh, using uh, those different um, methods. So now at this point, it all comes down to your understanding of percent. All right, now if you couldn't get the setup correct, maybe you wanna go ahead and see if you can do the problem at this stage. Are you struggling in math because of confusing lessons? Maybe the teacher's not showing you all the steps you need or things are happening too fast. Well, there is a better way. So come on over to my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. There you'll find clear step-by-step -step instruction by me that will definitely make a huge difference in your math success. So make sure to check out all my courses by following the links in the description. Okay, so 0.7 is what percent of 0.31? Now let's suppose you're kind of confused about, eh, what should I do here? Well, a great technique you can use in math, if you're not uh, you know, really understanding the question, is to replace values uh, with simpler numbers and see if you can kind of uh, understand the problem a bit better. So 0.7 is what percent of 0.31? Let's just kind of change out these values for some easier numbers. What if I gave you this question? Two is what percent of four? Two is what percent of four? You don't even need a calculator to answer this question. Come on now, two is what percent of four? Well, hopefully you said, ah, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it's 50%. And I would say, yes, indeed, you are a mathematical genius. That is correct. It is 50%, but let's kind of review what's going on here. Now, a great model uh, for percent uh, in terms of percent problems is to think of the part out of the whole or part out of the total setup. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So percent, like let's suppose, let's say you had your little pizza here and you wanted to know what one slice out of four slices was. Well, what's the part? That's one. What's the total amount or the whole? It's four. So you have one out of four. Now one fourth or the decimal 0.25, right? If you take one and divide it by four, these here are not uh, percent our percentage is so what we have to do is rewrite our fractions or our decimals as percent but the setup though okay the numbers that you're comparing using that part out of the whole concept is a kind of great model when it comes to percent prompts so in this particular case what is the part two is what percent of four okay let's just see visually being kind of look well actually we can go back to our pizza uh, model right so here if I have two okay slices of pizza, that is what percent of the total of four slices, okay? Well, our, our part is two, our whole is four, so we have two over four, okay, and which of course is one half, but this is equivalent to the uh, decimal 0.5, okay? Now, how do we write uh, percents, okay? Well, if you have a decimal or a fraction, but I'm gonna work with decimals because it's uh, more common, what we need to do is multiply by 100 which is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So if I have 0.5 and I move the decimal point over two places to the right, so that'd be one and two, it's gonna be 50.0%, okay? So uh, two is what percent of four? 50%. All right, so now that we understand that, all we have to do is simply apply the same setup to our problem. Okay, so 0.7 is what percent of uh, 0.31?
Well, this is going to be the part, 0.7, okay, and then 0.31 will be the whole. Now, you got to be careful here because uh, oftentimes when you're dealing with percent problems, the part out of the whole setup, sometimes the part is bigger than the whole. In other words, when you're dealing with, uh, you know, problems that are like 100, something's like 120% of something else or 200%. So don't get confused because that can definitely happen and that's going to happen in this particular problem. So we're just going to follow the setup here. So we have 0.7 divided by 0.31. And when we do this in our calculator, we're going to get a decimal. And I'm just going to round off here approximately 2.25. Okay, but we're not done here uh, yet because the question is asking what percent. So I'm going to have to take uh, 2.25 and multiply it by 100, which, of course, is the same thing as move, moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So we're going to get approximately 225%. Okay, so if some of you are out there are saying, oh boy, I forgot this stuff. I took this 30, 40, 50 years ago. Well, yes, I get it. You know, it's a long time. Matter of fact, I was taking uh, this basic arithmetic uh, way back in the good old 1970s. I just remember uh, my uh, teachers, particularly my first grade teacher, smoking right there in the classroom. I guess those kids were kind of giving her, <laughs> maybe myself included, a tough time. But uh, if you need help, okay, with basic math, or if you just want to relearn uh, all the math skills that you forgot, well, I think that's a great idea and a great use of your time. Check out my new math course, okay? It's called Math Skills Rebuilder. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. But basically, I start off with basic arithmetic. I go through everything that we talked about in this video and much, much more. Then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, basic trigonometry, and some basic probability and statistics. And uh, this is a self-paced course. You can take your time, but uh, by the time you finish it, you'll probably understand math better than you actually did back in your school days, because that's typically what I have found, especially if you are an adult learner. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.